Hi Stampin' Friends, tonight we're gonna to use the Decorative Trees uh, bundle. It has a lot of dies that cut out great designs and a few stamps that are nice too. Um, this is the card that I made for a swap. And I use the, I'm trying to see if you can see the sparkles, not super well. Um, it has the Summer Splash Glimmer Paper because there was an in color uh, glimmer paper pack. And so it has the Summer Splash, I mean, no, the Shy Shamrock over the Summer Splash. And so the rest of the card is kind of monochrome um, in Summer Splash, but the, the darker green, which is the Shy Shamrock in this case, is the glimmer paper and then the glimmer paper I think looks gold that is supposed to be peach parfait which I think if you were using it with light colors and stuff you would probably say oh sure that's that's what color that is but when you're using it with Christmas I think it looks very golden okay I thought I would go ahead and go over I have everything out on the table but I thought it was probably a good idea to go ahead and show you the swaps because I was afraid if I didn't start with the swaps that I might forget. Okay, this first one um, uses like nothing better, nothing's better than pumpkin spice, pumpkin season, whatever. So it has a cute little cup, some little, um, little cute, these are from the market um, bundle. Um, so it has a lot of things going for it and I think it's really cute, a cute one. And then the next one has donuts and an apple. So like you're having apple, apple cinnamon, apple cider, or wassail with a donut. Probably apple spice as well. Super cute for fall. Then this one is Thinking of You Always. And it is a kind of a fall or Christmas card. It has the little bird um, paper and um, dies in it. This one is a fall little, um, it's supposed to look like a little purse. This one doesn't open, but it has, um, it's like a little dangle on there. It's just kind of cute, and it says, Dear Friend. This one is a little bit hard to read because it's on gold foil paper. Wishing I were there. Oh, that is important. You really can't, um, you can't hardly see that eye. Wishing I were there to give you a hug. So kind of a sweet one, uses some, some different papers than we um, typically use. Then, some things never change, like I'm assuming you would put inside my friendship, that kind of thing. And this is with shaded spruce. And then this one is wishing you all the things, all the things that warm your heart and lift your spirits. So this is another with the, um, it's like a regal paper and um, very cute card. Let's see here. The inside is decorated as well. Very cute. And then the rest of them are definitely Christmassy. Uh, this one, I, I really enjoy this one. I like how this, they used the um, wild wheat. Wild wheat is not a color that's very easy for me to use overall, but they really used a lot of it, and it looks like gold. It doesn't, it looks, I guess, because that's kind of what color it is, is the gar harvest gold that used to be popular in the 70s for our kitchen appliances and stuff. But this red, the pop of red here, I think it could, could be toned down just a little bit, but it's gorgeous, don't you think? And then this next one, they watercolored the background. And then there's a little gold edge, so it's probably a gold edged paper. Um, and then they colored this as well, and that looks really pretty. And then a little Bethlehem there on the hill with a gold embossed star. All right, this one, I guess I should turn them like this. I think that's how I have it is a Merry Christmas, and I love how they did this. These two squares are flat, flush against the paper. This one is popped up. Then these are on dimensionals, our holly sprigs. They're on dimensionals on the other two, and that makes a really cute look. I believe this might be the take, about, take a bow paper, which is so weird because it's to make bows with. And this is our reindeer fun, reindeer days kind of combination here. So he's peeking out through this, and it's super cute. And of course, that's where these guys came from here, these little um, guys, they're also from that, super sweet. And um, this one uses the plaid embossing folder and a sprig of holly, I'm not really sure what set it's from, but, um, and also some of the, some glimmer paper, so very pretty. This one is, it says all is merry, it's a cute little uh, ornament with a hanger and plenty of gold details. It uses that new cherry cobbler ribbon that's so pretty. 
Um, it has gold edge on it, so it's very pretty. And then this is a wood grain background. Um, this is actually a note card that we have, um, note card and envelope. And um, it has some trees on it, a Merry Christmas, and a cute little bow. Let's see here. This one uses the packages. I used this last week with the Reindeer Days. This is some packages, the package paper. And they just kind of split it in half and put a circle and Christmas is better together. And that right on top. And then those adorable little peppermints. Sadly, the peppermint embellishments are um, dis not discontinuous. Sold out right now, but they'll be available um, towards the end of September. So plenty of time to, you could make all of your cards and put those on um, whenever you get them in. Um, this is another that uses those cute little peppermints. This is a Christmas Friends set, so it's a little little moose, and he looks adorable, popped up here on his snow, and then the background of the trees, very pretty. This one, I believe this might be worth opening here. It looks like it's got something going on. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, this is some of the, um, like, brush stroke golden paper. So it opens like this, and then the inside has the adorable little house um, from, let's see, is it Humble Home, I think? Uh, that's a punch, and that's just so cute. And you're totally not expecting it, I think, um, because this is, this is very, you know, elegant and cute. And then you're like, oh, what's the inside? And then it's got an adorable from our home to yours. Just so cute. All righty, let me put this back in there. not crumpled up there. All right, then this one is a set of stars, and this one is to look like a gingerbread star, and it has the little peppermints there, so super cute. This one is a the look of a uh, snow globe with a little snowman inside. It's a season's greetings. It has the, this gorgeous new ribbon that we have on there that's pool party. Then this one says, have a very Merry Christmas, kind of a nostalgic look, a very old fashioned Christmas look. So, but I love her design here, very cute. A lot of things going on besides just those candles. And then here's some that is done with um, lanterns, kind of the same thing. And then I really liked this one. I, this may be a gatefold, I may have to open that up. Um, I don't usually do, well, with this swap, I don't usually do any, um, and so it doesn't occur to me that other people do any fun folds because it's just a card's front swap. But there, Christmas, oh, Christmas tree, or just a card, regular card swap. And that is just really pretty. And they used um, green snowflakes as one of the things that's on this, this set. And they used the swirly, which I used on mine, and then our regular gold foil and some adorable gold embellishments. Actually, that one looks, no, it's gold. Um, and the... Um, I mean, I, this, I would be happy to just go ahead and make this card my, uh, a class card. I mean, it's, it's really, really cute to me. So sometimes I'm like, well, eh, that isn't what I would have done, but this is, no, nope, that's just really cute all around. So let me get these put away. I believe that was from Yolanda Nixon from Grand Prairie, Texas. So I didn't have time. I thought you didn't want to hear me read everybody's name, so... It's a great swap. I'm assuming they aren't reading my name either if they're showing them off on uh, their lives. <clears throat> okay. So, and then you remember my card with the swirlies. I wanted to show you what some of the others are because I did not cut out a swirly because I'm like, I've seen enough of the swirlies. I made them. Uh, we have a plaid look. There is a polka dot look. Super cute. There's just a plain cutout, of course. You gotta have those. And let's see here. I think I may have missed the holly. Here's the holly. And there's a holly. Now, some of these you have to cut off. So, like, if you're gonna use this on the background, you have to cut off that bottom layer. So, it makes it more versatile. You can use these, like, in a trio across the top, you know, across the card. This is one that you have to cut off as well. So you could use, you know, two hollies and maybe a swirly in the middle or whatever. Um, so that makes it kind of fun. You can have two different sizes of trees that way. All right. So it also has sentiments. Oh, Christmas tree is one of them. 
and then it has a merry, let's see here, a very merry Christmas, but I prefer, we don't have that many small sentiments, so I prefer to just do the Merry Christmas small, then you can put it at the bottom of your card, and that makes it um, a little bit easier to use. Okay, the rest of it is Seasons Greetings. I'm not a big Seasons Greetings sentiment user. There are stars, there are um, For You, super cute, um, a ribbon on a thing, I'm not really clear that that's not, I don't put rib, a ribbon on my tree like that. There's a stamp star in case you want to just do an all stamped card and um, a swirly and then this, I'm not really clear on this either. It's like a zigzaggy kind of thing. I, I don't know. Um, not everything is for me. So I just said, hmm, those aren't for me. I don't know what we're trying to do there. Don't even, don't even miss it if I don't have it. So there you go. All right. So what I started with here is kind of a lot. Um, I wanted to put green on green. I hope I ended up over here with all my pieces. I may not have. Okay. No, nope, I did not end up with all my pieces. Well, let's look here. I keep some over here that are ready to use. I don't know how this will look with this. Let's see, I could use shaded spruce. That was kind of my plan there. You can kind of see what I was thinking of. Then you could put your Oh Christmas tree at the bottom. And then any one of these that you put in here is gonna be kind of fun, I think. So you could do that. You, as long as there's contrast. So I feel like that this set really gets you wanting to use a variety of different greens. Uh, you could also instead put this one over the top and maybe put your plaid over it like that. So lots of possibilities. You could also lift this up on dimensionals and just leave it plain for a simple card. As long as you put some um, embellishments here in the tree, I think that's gonna be a cute look see here if I have it. Now, you know, the other thing is, think of all the different possibilities with green. I mean, there's there's just a ton. So you could put this layer, this is our um, old olive, and our lemon lime twist. And now that one might be one that I would probably put, I've, I've pulled out real red. Probably would look better if I had put it on our um, poppy parade. But either one is going to be really pretty. Let me kind of scooch that over, put it there on the real red. So there's just a lot of choices when you use this set. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I would put a deeper green for the contrast of it. Then you could either put the shinies and you could put the stars, a little gold foil star. That one's kind of got a funny spot on it. Let's put that one. There we are. Pop that up there. And then <clears throat> there's also, oh, this was the other one I wanted to show you. There's also this little striped and dot. So that gives it a more, I don't know what the word would be, a slightly more um, retro look. Maybe this would look better in a white. So I was just, I was cutting all this stuff and it was so fun, but I, I couldn't really stop. because I kept thinking, well, that'll look good with that. That'll look good with that. Imagine using the white with a green behind, any green, but popping it there and then putting this on here and then just Merry Christmas. You know, something at the bottom. Of course, I would put a red ribbon under it. Um, probably this gold here, the red. This is an online exclusive ribbon. It's real red with gold dots. I'll just put that on the bottom there. I might even put a tie over to one side. So fun fun on that. And I wanted to show you a couple of different um, possibilities. This is pool party. And I thought it would be really cute to put this one just in white. Oops, I'm losing stuff. And that I think is so, whoops, I just moved that. So sorry. Okay, so now I've got my pool party. And I think this snowflake one is so, so striking with the contrast here. But you know, we don't always have to use the color that we're expecting, like with trees. As I said, oh, you'll use a lot of green with this. Well, you don't have to. You can use other colors and it's gonna be just as cute. And I think that would make a gorgeous little 
stop down here at the bottom and then maybe just stamp the little Merry Christmas. So let me clean this off, this, this Merry Christmas stamp. I tried it, you can see here on this one, let me put it up where you can see. I tried to stamp it on the stamping and you can read it, but not well. So I think maybe I should use a lighter color of ink and maybe a little less heavy on the stamping, but, um, or maybe I should use a white background tree. So lots of possibilities there. Let's kind of have a plan. Get my pool party. There we go. What I like about this, um, this sentiment so well is how easy it is to just catch, get it the edge of a ink pad like this and just stamp it right directly on this. Just, okay. Okay, there's my Merry Christmas. You can put that right on the bottom. And then just a few of our embellishments that are pool party. I think we have a couple left. We've got these, um, let's see here, these guys would be really cute, I bet. Let's see, wouldn't that be gorgeous on there? I think that would complete the card nicely. And um, you could pop it up, you could put this, okay, let's go ahead and finish this card. I think it'll be pretty easy to do. I'm just gonna wrap this around here. some adhesive right there for my ribbon. I don't feel like this, this ribbon probably has a front and a back, but it's not so obvious that it's gonna cause you a problem, I don't think. Okay, let me put that. Oops, got a little part of this side. There we are. It looks like I've got it fairly even. Then I just need dimensionals, and I don't know where I ended up with those. Oh, here's some. Okay. There, right there, to keep those off the card, and keep them from sticking too much where I put the adhesive. And then just a little, I'm gonna use this, this strip edge here. Down both sides of our tree. Okay, turn around because I have to look at it. Okay, that was a lot of dimensionals, wasn't it? Okay, and then just center up here. Okay, so then at this point, I would just glue this down inside there, and I think that will be a cute look. Now I'm just going to stick it in there for now because I want to, I want to work on gluing it in. But it's going to stay fairly well, just like that. Then to finish off, I can put a gold star up here. I could use a silver star. I could use a blue star. That would be cute. And then if I if I were going to use the blue star, I would just go over it. Um, blue by blue, I mean of course party. I would go over it with my Wink of Stella and give it just a little bit of shine. Okay, then where did my one I just stamped end up? What have I done? What kind of silliness have I done? Oh, this is probably it. Yes, there we go. You could just glue it down, but you could also put um, dimensionals under it. I think this ribbon, because it's a little bit puffy, could stand to have a glue dot under it. I try to keep the glue dot flat. I don't want it to stick up more than it is. Okay. Just there. I don't want the ribbon to look like it's in a bind. And then I'm just going to put one on each side of this. There we go. Whoops. My Merry Christmas. Now, another thing I wanted to show you um, I definitely wouldn't use the red on this one, but I cut out some little pink um, bows and pink balls. Oops, come out. There we are. 
So those would look really cute on several different of the trees. And the reason I'm showing you on this is because I think that the, the um, blue and pink look kind of cute and different together. So there's some bows and some balls. And is that one more? It is. Okay. So you might want a couple more of the uh, ornaments if you were going to, you know, stick this down and everything just to get it a little more, more um, centered. But also, uh, this set comes with these cute little, I don't know if you would call them beaded garlands or what, that you can put on your tree. And they may look better on our, one of the um, green trees. This may be getting a little bit tacky, but it's kind of also a little bit Barbie. So I thought that was kind of a fun way to do it. Okay, that's the longer piece. And we go. it's kind of, they're very close, These the two bottom ones. I'm not sure that you need them both. I think maybe three is enough. But there you can see making it look like it is maybe like that to decorate the tree. So there, I think that is a really cute look. And I will try to show you, whoopsie, I will try to show you the garland on one of the other card that we do with some green in it. Okay. Oops, I didn't put these on. I was sure going to do that. So just kind of put them. Because this, you could um, emboss this background maybe with the, um, the circles embossing folder that I used on this card. Here you can see them like that. Or you could use a different one, um, but just some kind of a background could be nice. But I kind of like the lack of texture that shows on this uh, on this to make it clean. And then the texture is all here on this um, pretty snowflake area. So, you know, decisions, decisions on that. Okay. Let's try another one. And I'm sorry, it seems like I have so many things going tonight. It's because I do, because I couldn't make a decision. Okay, this is one that is um, Granny Apple Green, and I think the white looks good on it. No, I don't think the white looks good on it. <laughs> this one, this is the one I intended, I think. Here we are. This is the Soft Sea Foam, and then I kind of imagined putting one of these on there. You could do the plaid. That would look gorgeous if you use the plaid embossing folder with it. Or you could use the polka dot, and you could use this guy here. I kind of feel like if you're going to use the polka dot, that it will look best on this background. So maybe one of the others, maybe you could use this white one that is four inches across, and maybe the polka dot or the polka dot stripe. I'm, I'm equal opportunity on these polka dots on there like that. And then add our little garlands. I'm gonna pull some off the other card because I must have got, oh no, there we go. There they, there they are, they weren't really hiding from me. So just think about, the way I'm placing these is like as if the tree has been decorated um, with these just swirling down it like that. So that's kind of my plan on that. And then this one on there. Then of course, in this case, I would want a gold star. Pop it right on there. And we talked about our ribbon, which I think is perfect for this. More dots, lots of fun with that. And then maybe your Merry Christmas here. And then let's look through here and find, I have so many possibilities that I have trouble deciding sometimes what I'm gonna put on. I do not want you guys to overlook these. They are called gold textured adhesive black dots. And even though they're not as golden as some, I think they look really nice with gold. And I think that might be what I would put on this card just for, um, a little bit more gold stuff. You could even put any of these on the uh, tree itself as, cause to me, cutting out these little tiny ornaments is a bit much. Um, and I think that putting on just, you know, 
maybe five of these would really finish this off nicely. So, okay, I'm gonna call that one good. And then I'm gonna do something strange. I'm gonna get out the Stamparatus and show you how I would stamp, how I stamped this and possibly show you um, a different set of colors for this. It's the Garden Green for the edging. Now maybe I'm not going to, maybe I'll try the Granny Apple. I just feel very unsure. I'm gonna do Olive. <laughs> Back and forth. Okay, put that up in our old Olive. And this is just a border around the tree. There we are. Now, you could do this the same look. You're just gonna need to stamp it and then cut it out after. So, it's possible. Now, remember I said this was so dark on here, so I didn't want that to be quite so dark, but I think I might use this old olive and see if it turns out a little better. Another possibility, let's try it actually, um, would be to use the, so, the soft sea foam and put it on here, and then maybe that would be light enough that we would still see the texture of the, the needles, but it would not be so dark that we will not be able to see our sentiment. Let's see what we think. I kind of like that. I may have gotten a little high on this frame here, but there you can see it just has a little bit of color and looks really pretty. So, now I'm gonna get this out. Whoops, I don't know how I even picked this up. That was from something earlier. All right. Now, one thing I also wanted to show you, this sentiment, may your days be merry. Um, very easy to just stamp it and then cut it, you know, cut it straight uh, with your paper cutter. And you could fold this up and put it on top of the card. But that would be cute to crumple up kind of like this. Like, woo, 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 and put it on the top of the card like this. Super sweet. So, oh, I don't even have it in the frame. Sorry about that. There, we can see that. So, I think that would be a cute look. And it, then putting it on our, you don't always have to have a layer. So, something to think about there is putting this directly on this. Now, if you like a layer, and I admit I like a layer, I just try to show things differently, Um, you could put this as the base layer on a real red cardstock as well. Or put the red here. Do it like that. Pop it up. And that would be cute. And you could make it a little more um, of a kind of a country look with this one. So I think I've kind of shown you that, but I'm gonna go ahead here and put some Poppy Parade um, on this and try to stamp the Very Merry Christmas part. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm not, the weird thing about this, you would think it fit up here, but to me it really doesn't. It may fit on some of the smaller, no, that doesn't make sense either. I'm not sure what the situation is with this, but it fits down here, way far down on the tree. So, I don't know if I'm not supposed to do it like that or what, but you can see there, it just barely fits. But that is super cute, and you, um, don't necessarily have to stamp, you know, the tree shape, but I do like the way this looks because it um, gives it a different, completely different look than any of the ones that have the um, the die cuts. So that is also a fun look. And again, like we were talking about, we don't have to have it on that. And we could put, may your days be merry at the bottom. And that is a really sweet card that all it needs is a few embellishments and you would be finished. So I hope I've given you some ideas with this and you know, not totally confused you with possibilities because there are a ton of, of fun things to do with this. I think this would be a great one to do um, like on a Saturday afternoon and just try all the things until you found your very favorite and then maybe make, um, you know, 10 or 20 of the, the one that you like the best. But then the ones, the other ones that aren't your favorites, they can certainly still be used. Certain people like different things. Maybe you know your friends have different styles. So, so thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.